Hi folks, welcome back to Fishing with Den. This is a continuation video actually. Um, I recently did that one on um, fishing with curry powder in my ground bait and on my pellets and so on, and did rather well. So I mentioned at the time that I'd probably come to that pond that I haven't fished for a long time because it keeps getting flooded and it keeps staying a really, really horrible brown colour. All the other ponds in the area, this, this muddy flooded colour has dropped out of. But this one has stayed the same way for the last three months. But also, it's really low. Normally, I'm sitting on the bank behind me, which you can't see, where you're perched on. But today, for the first time ever, I'm sitting down in the water. And I'm actually getting all muddy, but hey, that's just one of those things. But anyway, back to what I was saying about this. Um, I've come down just to see if that really, really smelly curry powder um, taste and smell brings fish to me in this sort of really horrible muddy water. Um, I have tried fishing here a couple of times in the past, past few months and not done very well at all. So this is just that sort of second experiment as I say. Today fishing on the waggler, uh, it's not very deep just under my feet and there's a bit of a crosswind which is getting sort of stronger. You're looking at 20 kilometers an hour which is what 14-15 miles an hour. So it's actually quite, quite good at the moment but um, anyway I'm fishing out there and I'm actually using the, the zoom camera on the other side of me here. I'm just doing some tests on that one to see how well it works as a main camera. Because to be honest, this GoPro that I'm talking to you on now is the Session and it's at least five or six years old. Uh, I think I bought it in 2017. So fairly soon now, I wouldn't be surprised if it uh, tends to die on its feet. It's had a lot of knocks over the years. So anyway, that's where we're at for today. So you probably won't get any close-up videos, I'm afraid, today. But that's just presupposing that we get a few bites. Anyway, look, I'm going to feed um, probably three or four balls of ground bait out on the, um, the float line there. It's at about sort of 12 turns out at the moment. Um, I'm casting to the line clip at 15, back three, so it's 12 turns, and we'll see how we go. Um, I will put a little bit of pellet in there and a little bit of um, corn, uh, and then I'll just trickle it in from there. But to be honest, at this point, I'm not convinced, <laughs> I just don't know. So I'm gonna get myself a quick cup of tea and see how we go. Been going about 20 minutes or so and uh, obviously nothing yet. I don't expect to get anything for about the first sort of three quarters of an hour. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna feed using my ground bait punch that I made on the 3D printer. And all I do is just tamp it down. That's what you end up with and there we go handy little tool oh. well, I'm not sure what this actually is very strange bite and very strange fight too probably a carp obviously but literally I put that bit of ground bait in and uh, it's been about four minutes I saw the float bob and then it shot under not a big fish, but see how pale it is. I notice they quite often go that sort of pale colour when the water's coloured like this. But hey, it's a start. What is it? About actually, you're probably looking at a good well, I'll be modest and say pound and a half or so. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Well, wow. well I've had my cup of tea and it's about 10 or 15 minutes further on and I haven't had another bite yet so I'm just gonna trickle a little bit of ground bait in there I'll uh, see how we go with the, the sweet corn but uh, I don't know I've got some of the, the um, paste with me as well so I might try that shortly sorry the um, curry paste seems the wind's got up because there's a big cloud over there and now the current is starting sorry the wind is going that way so in because this is like a bowl it's kind of pushing the the current that way so i'm just having to make sure i've got the feed in the right place and we'll see how i go from there i'm going to try a little bit of that curry powder paste that i made up um, i'm on a size 10 hook so it's a decent sized hook to put it on uh, obviously I've made it a fairly stiff paste so that it'll stay on the hook but not too stiff that the hook doesn't pull through on the strike 
Anyway, we're going to give it a go. See what happens. Wind's getting quite strong now. Nice. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Well, I've had two bobs, that looked like a proper bite, but it may well have been a, a liner, but at least it was something which I could try and strike at. Put a bit more of this paste on and see how we go. Yes! <laughs> Thought it was going to take me forever to get a bite. It's a better fish. Not much though. <laughs> At least I've had a bite. Very fit. In actual fact, he's probably not any bigger than the last one at all. In fact, he's probably smaller. Still, that's two. Maybe the pace doing it. Maybe it's just the general sort of baiting of the area. Oh, he swallowed it. There you go, not a huge look. <laughs> I'll give it another go. See what happens. Alright. As I said before, I'm having to be so careful that I don't uh, hit the clip and just ping the whole thing off. Wind's died down for a minute or two, but it's coming and going. Not seeing much by way of fish movement at all. Seen an odd couple of swirls, that's all I've seen. <laughs> I literally just put bread on, and uh, this lunatic <laughs> took it straight away. Wow. He didn't half take off, didn't he? Makes you wonder if in future I should maybe try um, bread with some curry powder just sprinkled onto it. There's a thought. Whoa, a fish. Well, he fought well, didn't he? <laughs> Well, it's not actually all that big. It's really shallow down there as well, so if there was anything down in the edge, it's spooked now. I don't think he's any bigger than the other ones either. But we're definitely going to go back and give Brother another go now. It was literally, I don't know, maybe a minute after I put it in. Oh, it's probably a little bit bigger, yeah. Might be two pounds. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't want to get wet. Actually, he's a bit bigger than that. And he swallowed it. Yeah, decent fish though, isn't he? I've used the eight mil punch and I've punched out three pieces and I've squeezed them down flat because they're going to expand. Hopefully they're not going to be in the water all that long before I get a bite, so they won't have expanded too much. But here we go, let's see what happens this time. I just spooked something down in front of me, I did that just down here. This one's a lot slower. But I think he's more powerful. <laughs> Maybe not then. They're all pretty much the same sort of size, aren't they? First time I fished here. I was getting smashed up all over the place. 
but since the floods I'm wondering if they've uh, if it's sort of flushed out the bigger fish and we're on the smaller ones come on this is quite good this is on bread again as we saw oh yeah that's actually a bigger fish that one is probably a good when he stops moving four maybe five pounds cold on my legs though actually yeah I'm going for five on this one trouble is I'm laying on quite a lot so they're swallowing it mind you they do that anyway but uh, that's the problem it's a balancing act all right that's the hook out anyway let's have a look at him Oh, caught his dorsal, fin, oh, sorry, his anal fin in the net again. They're terrible for doing that. They over here, they got these serrated fins. Anyway, it's a bigger fish than we have been catching. <laughs> oh, I was about probably nine inches over depth, but because they keep swallowing it, and because the wind seems to have died down a little bit, and because I can get some control of the float gonna come back down so I'm only sort of four or five inches over depth uh, again as I say it's all a balancing act as to how it presents the bait to the fish because if you don't present it right you don't get a bite in the first place but if you are too deep like I was just saying there you end up with the fish having too much time before you see the bite and then it swallows it and then it's just a pain sort me hook out it's all a bit bent up there we go same three pieces of eight millimeter squeeze down and away we go well I caught more than I thought I was going to catch. Maybe there's something in this uh, smelly bait after all. I'm going to try stepping up the amount of feed. And I'm not going to do huge amounts, but I'm going to do it more regularly. I'm going to give it two for now, and then I'll go to ones every few minutes. I haven't been feeding massive amounts up until now, but I'm thinking I'm getting, whoops, a bit far then. Um, I'm thinking I'm getting uh, turtles in the swim and that's not exactly what I want. So it can't hurt. I've only got another hour or so to go. I'm only here for what, three, four hours. So we'll give it a go. That was a lift bite and I kind of half-heartedly lifted into it and uh, it was on. I actually thought that was a turtle. <laughs> Like I always say, what do I know, Dan? Hang on, is he foul hooked or is he just round the dorsal? He's certainly caught on his dorsal fin, look. Let's see if he's in the mouth though. No, I've actually caught him in the dorsal fin. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Where's he gone? <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Scared another one down there as well. Got some go, don't they? Flies are everywhere today. Same sort of size again. Biggest one I've had, that one about five pound, I suppose. Come on. <laughs> Nearly scraped, didn't he? <laughs> ah, 
largely. This one's probably three and a half to four. Well, and the bread seems to be doing pretty well. I think next time we're going to give that to uh, topping it with curry powder a go. Yeah, three and a half, we'll say. <laughs> Bobbing away there, and I missed it. Still got bait, we're good. Literally just put that one in. Small fish though. But we're having a few, aren't we? Definitely more than I've been having the last couple of times I've been here. Okay, they're not huge, but they're good fun. This one's probably the smallest one I've had today. Oops, I still couldn't net him. <laughs> Certainly got the larger amount on bread today. I mean, he's a good pound or so, I suppose. If I could pick him up. Oh, he's unhooked himself, look. There we go. Nice looking fish. Just had a liner, which sort of swirled the float around a bit. Obviously got tangled up with its uh, fins. So I'm going to continue with the process ball each time I think I've actually lost a, a shot actually after that last fish it's sitting a bit high but I'm sure that won't make any difference to these fish I will actually bring it in in a second and uh, put another one on but uh, for the moment let's just leave it out there oh I'd no sooner put that one in and it had gone under and uh, I said the wrong things to the camera and that switched itself off for a second but we're still there, we still got it it was like a reasonable enough fish I mean I'm on six pound uh, Guru drag line for main line which is 025 I've got a size 10 hook on to 022 matrix um, so we should be okay for holding it But yeah, and a few fish. And again, not huge. <laughs> I lost some massive fish in here in the past, just literally stripped line off and pulled out. Which is one of the reasons I'm using a size 10 hook these days. And in this sort of murky water, they aren't going to worry about line, so... in his mouth he's probably two and a half maybe something like that We're certainly having one or two bites now aren't we definitely better than I expected okay that'll do pretty small one again very small one again. <laughs> oh, just scared one. There may be one or two fish in the shallows, you know. I've seen odd swirls here and there in the day, but not very much. That's definitely the smallest one of the day. He's probably all of six ounces, I reckon. But aren't they in bris pristine condition? Only just hooked him in the lip look. Absolutely pristine look. Beautiful. Seems that when I put the ground bait in, just those little balls, I do get a little bit of activity and it disappears again fairly quickly. Been bitten a few times. Um, so yeah, not too bad at all. <laughs> Where's he off to? Well, I've certainly got them coming now. I wouldn't say they're one after another, but they're getting close to being one after another, aren't they? I'm just thinking that after this one, I'll probably give it best because it is still Christmas, remember? Uh, I need to 
get back and do some stuff. But as far as the curry powder goes then, have we proven it works on this really chocolate murky water? Well, we're certainly on the way to doing that. It's, um, I've caught a lot more today than I usually catch when I'm just using my normal ground bait in here. And it's got to be something to do with the smell. So, is curry powder better than turmeric or anything else for that matter in the way of Indian spices? Well, that part I don't know yet. What I am going to do is I'm going to take the curry powder ground bait down to the tidal river and I'm going to give it a go in there as well. And if it works as well in there as it's been working the last twice, well, I might actually go across to it, even though it does pong a bit. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.